is on the rise today in Arizona tonight, for example. Health department officials there are now telling hospitals to activate their emergency plans. And tonight here, an important clarification after the World Health Organization confused so many all over the world. So can you spread the virus if you're asymptomatic? Here's Matt Guppin on that tonight. Tonight, Arizona's health department urging hospitals to activate their emergency plans. More than 5,000 new cases since June 1st, and now hospitals saying they're maxing out on ICU beds. We need to really be um, socially responsible when we go outside, socially distance. You know, I think there's evidence that we're not doing that. 21 states in Puerto Rico registering a rise in COVID, and 14 states, including Arizona, have seen their highest seven-day average growth since the pandemic began. The governor here lifting that stay-at-home order on May 15th, people gathering in large groups again at bars and restaurants. You know, right now we're fine, but if we continue at a, at, at a rate like this, we're facing a significant chance that we're going to have to shut down the state again. FEMA saying community transmission is the highest driver of growth in nearly two-thirds of the hotspots in 31 states. Scott Felix is a 25-year-old who says he got sick after camping during Memorial Day. He spiked 104 fever and tested positive for COVID. A lot of people that I've talked to have said that they um, felt like they may have already had the coronavirus and it would be safe to go outside. Uh, I would say don't assume that. And David, the World Health Organization is now walking back that surprising claim saying that asymptomatic people can and do spread the virus, but they admit they don't know exactly how that happens. David. Very important. Again, asymptomatic people can still spread the virus. And Matt, we thank you for that. And when we come back,